ride here personally. I just think the technology is brilliant on it. Like how you have the track above you and not below you and you can see everything. It is one of my favourite like kids kids rides. Apart from the carousel obviously. But the technology on it's brilliant. Like it reminds me of E.T. a little bit the way it's done. So yeah, uh, very good ride. We're gonna head over to Tomorrowland in a moment and do the speedway and people move our carousel of progress, all that lot. So I will see you when we are in the future. Do it. They do it. It goes something like this. 
pictures later if I take them for me. Look over the balcony. It's very, very beautiful. Up the stairs. Uh, they're the restrooms. Please don't. Our camera's so pretty. Okay, fine, thank you. We are, yeah. Great. Come right this way. Lovely, My name you. is Lady Michaela. I'll be taking you to your table. Lovely, thank you. Uh, watch your step downstairs. Yeah. Good idea. <laughs> We're in the castle. Stop. What are you, royal table? <laughs> thank you. Uh, I'll sit here. Hey, this is the menu, guys. To begin. What? I don't know what Emma said at all, but this place is beautiful. I'm so excited to be here. It's unbelievable. We can see by the like windows and everything. It's just it's magical, guys. Tasting platter. This is what you get to begin with. So we've got all different cheeses and chutneys and some bread and gherkins and salmon in the corner which Emma will be thankful for and cured meats so yeah that's very nice and we've got nice uh, glass goblets full of apple juice all of us because we fancied apple juice so let's dig in so I got the pan seared chicken on a bed of tomato um, risotto in a pea puree kind of thing it looks very very fancy and very nice Emma got the pork tenderloin, which looks very nice, and Martin got the beef and shrimp. So, very, very fancy. I can't wait to tuck in. So, I got the clock strikes midnight cake, which looks delicious, and it's presented lovely. Um, Emma got, I think it's Jack and Gus's 
like favourite dessert, which is like a jasmine green mousse or something. White chocolate and jasmine. Yeah, white mousse. chocolate and jasmine mousse. And Martin went for plain lemon sorbet. <laughs> so, but you know, I mean, if that's what you like, that's all I mean. Very nice. Right, so we finished at Cinderella's Royal Table. We're now getting the bus back to our resort beach club because we're going to dump our stuff get changed and then go to Epcot for illuminations tonight because we have no other time in our itinerary to fit in. But just to get on the for reals at the minute for um, Cinderella's Royal Table, my meal was delicious. It was delicious. Um, I enjoyed everything about it. It was fine. But um, Martin didn't particularly enjoy his. Kind of didn't really. It was, yeah. Nice. It was nice. Yeah. Okay. Well, it was just Martin then. Martin didn't particularly enjoy his. Why Martin? Any reason? Uh, steak was chewy. I know. Sorbet party. Okay. Yeah. So I think the general consensus is that if you're going there for the atmosphere, then it's perfect. You know, you get to dine at Cinderella's. Cinderella's royal table inside Cinderella Castle. You know, you get princesses coming around, and the princesses were very timely, and you know, we got through them pretty quick and stuff, so that was good. We really didn't hang around too much, which was nice. But I think it's more of an experience place than a food place, maybe for me. I'm just saying, like, yes, it was delicious, but it was the same kind of food I could have at a one cre table credit service place rather than a two table credit service place that's very hard to say um but yeah it was just it was kind of it was nice but it was to me bog standard food really um even though it was presented nicely our server was very very nice she kept our glasses topped up with apple juice that was very good but i'm not sure i would do it again in a hurry and i'm not sure that i would pay for it out of pocket ever in fact, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't pay for it out of pocket ever. But, you know, for the experience of it, it was a great experience. We got wands to take home, Martin got a sword. Um, I did have to ask for them mine because they didn't put them on the table, I guess because we were adults, but it's kind of in with what you pay. So I did kind of want my wand, to be honest. You are meant to get a wishing star as well, but we didn't get that. But uh, the one thing that I would say really 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 let it down for me to be honest was the toilets we went to the restrooms uh, just before leaving so obviously we're quickly running back we're getting changed we're going to Epcot they were disgusting honestly the filthiest toilets I have ever used in my life and I just I don't think that's a great standard for inside Cinderella's castle to be honest like it was to the point where you really didn't want to sit down because people had defecated on the seats and there was toilet tissue on the floor, it was wet and the um, lock on the back of the door wasn't like lined up properly or anything. I really had to force the door shut to like lock it and everything. Um, if you can see bubbles floating by, it's because there are children just at the other bus stop for, like blowing bubbles at us. But yeah, that was just kind of my biggest bugbear with it, was that the restrooms really were not clean. And I don't kind of expect that from Disney, let alone inside Cinderella's Royal Castle, or whatever you want to call it. So yeah, that kind of let it down. Would I recommend it for people who love princesses? Yes, of course. Would I recommend it for kids and, you know, the magic and that? Yeah, of course. Um, and I, I'm not saying that you guys shouldn't do it. I'm just saying for us, or for me personally, actually, I won't speak for Martin and Emma, but for me personally, I don't think it's worth two uh, table service credits at all. Um, and as delicious as it was, I wouldn't really hurry back. So that's kind of my take on it. Um, you may have a different opinion, and that's perfectly fine. Everyone's got their own opinion. Like I say, I would never dissuade people from doing anything. It's just really my findings for you guys. So anyway, we're going to wait for the bus. Emma's really tired and her feet are hurting, hence why she sat down. I can't sit down because I'm wearing a white skirt tonight and I don't want to get it dirty. So hopefully the bus won't be too long. They're roughly every 20 minutes and we have just missed one. So ready? Oh God. 
hold on. We're on the go kart. We're on the go kart home. <laughs> We've been our magic ones. Wow. Yes. No, because I nearly fell off last time. <laughs> I'm going to do it this guy. <laughs> Oh, she's opening it up now. I would love this job. This would be my job at this end. Until she puts one of her speeds and I slip out of the skirt. <laughs> Here we go. We're off skis. We're in the Kentucky Derby. Oh god, she's put on a burst of speed now. She's got people to pick up. Please, it's me, busy woman, busy yeah. woman. <laughs> Excellent. My hair is just a mess right now. Thank, Thank you for you. the lift. Oh god, get off. Get off. Thank you. Bye. I think they're having a beach party, guys. Oh, you guys are. We're gonna have a rave on the balcony. Oh, this one. It goes electric, baby, when I turn it on. Oh, the city, oh, from my home. Oh, the city, 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 I'm gonna hide when we're getting too close And we move and I already know Just electric, just electric, just electric We got our nice moves <laughs> Dance, 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 boy Drop your zip and you with a dance, 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 boy <laughs> Would you dance, 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 boy I don't know He wanted us to do something it's probably a pool party. Probably is a pool party actually. How about the shopping cart? Go on, shopping cart. <laughs> 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 Walmart. Yeah, Walmart. Can't stop the feeling. By the way, we can't sing. Wow. Yes, so yes, yes so no. We, we know we can't sing. You don't have to tell people. We already know this. Oh my god, I love this. Oh, Right, we better go. We're right. Woo, we're gonna go now that the impromptu dance party is my less over, and we have to get to the resort. Also, our neighbour who is up and across, he's like an older gentleman with his family, was just looking at us like we were crazed lunatics. So, uh, whatever. Oh, she, you're eating high chews again. They smell so nice. Right, we're gonna go to Epcot, and I will see you at the fireworks with my crazy hair. Where
because we've just gone down and we've seen um, illuminations as you would have seen from the footage and that's us done for the night we are all so so tired from Halloween Horror Night last night that we're literally just going to climb into bed and go to sleep I might go downstairs and get a drink I'm not too sure yet to be honest in my refillable mug me and Martin playing Pokemon at the moment just got a manky outside so we're uh, getting there he's obviously a lot further along than me like I'm only at level 11 because I very very rarely play it whether or not we're going to be able to sleep with that noise, mind you, is another di is another matter. It turns out they're having quite a late uh, party tonight on the beach. I think it's either DVC or annual pass holder stuff, probably. But anyway, we we'll go try and get some sleep tomorrow. We are at Fort Wilderness tomorrow morning for um, horse riding at the Tricycle D Ranch. I'm taking the GoPro with me, so with any luck, because I do have a chest harness, with any luck they'll let me wear it. I know sometimes they can be a bit funny about taking stuff on the trail with you, because I've done this trail about three times now. Uh, so they can be a bit funny about that, but to be honest, if I'm not holding anything, and I'm still holding the reins, I don't see why I can't have a chest-mounted camera. But we'll wait and see what they say in the morning. Then reservations tomorrow are for lunch. Uh, wilderness? No, it's not wilderness. Yeah, it is. It's Wilderness Lodge, Whispering Canyon Cafe. Sorry. Um, so that's where we're having lunch, and then in the evening we're going to Hollywood Studios, and we're going to watch Fantasmic because I've fast passed it. So that should be really, really fun. So we'll see you guys tomorrow, and thank you for watching today. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. It was super hot and sticky and really really busy in the magic kingdom today but we did have a very good time and uh, with that being said i will see you tomorrow morning so night guys <laughs>